how much a day's difference is, how much a season's difference is, how much a practice can change, how much an injury can affect the game. We talk about practice? No, no practice. The Cleveland Cavaliers are NBA champions, folks. They're NBA champions. This is Q to Six Man speaking along with Ryan. This is another episode of Off the Bench you're, you're tuned into right now. And I just, I'm just going to go. I have nothing. I have no notes. I have no. This is going to be so, so raw. Like, I have like three tweets just trying to get up any type of stats I can right about I'm now. I'm literally, like, I, I've i literally shed tears already. Um, I've already lost most of my voice. Because I'm emotional, man. Um, I picked the Golden State Warriors to win in seven. But if you recall for the hardcore listeners of the of the podcast, you might recall back in March when I so said on this podcast. Said the Spurs are gonna win the chip. I, I said that, of course that. But I said, you know what? The Warriors are not gonna win the finals. Now granted that was because I thought that you know the Spurs were gonna make it, and they almost did. They'll they'll be back, but that's that's another uh, story. But that was because I saw what Boston did. I saw that Boston, once they got up in the Warriors, once they gave maximum effort, and once they really committed to playing good defense on the Warriors, but which is not just easy to do. But once you commit and you trust your teammates, I saw that you could get up on the Warriors and you could keep them down and you could keep them in a space where they're just shooting hero shots. The Warriors go up 3-1 on the Cavaliers. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get there. Y'all stay with me. Y'all stay with me right now. The Warriors go up 3-1. The first two games, blowouts. Oh, man, this is over. This is over. Me, myself, I said, dude, this is not looking good, but I'm going to hang in there. Not like this, LeBron. Not like this. this, Not like this. (laughs) And it wasn't like that. At all. 3-1. Okay, we go back to Cleveland. They win three games straight against the MVP, against the best team of all time, right? And they win the NBA championship. LeBron brings a chip back to the land on Father's Day on Juneteenth. Shout out. And... He does it in historic fashion. Now, I want to start this off, you all, by just saying that um, I'm not going to go easy on the Warriors. So if you're pro Warriors, you might not like what I have to say. One question. What's up? How, how were you against the Cavs last year? How was I against the Cavs? Yeah. Did you like roast them at all? Um, I believe I roasted them to what they deserved. I said things along the line of, oh my God, LeBron, you are so stupid for leaving Miami because now you because okay. now you left the team with a hurt shooting guard for a team with a point guard who can't stay healthy. And you know what? I still think that Le- LeBron should have stayed in, in my in Miami. I still I still okay. I still think that. I still just want to get that disclaimer out there for consistency. I still think that he could have won these last two championships in Miami. All D Wade needed was a good summer to lose some weight, and a new yeah, trainer. and just a new trainer. That's all I thought he needed, and he just he needed Riley to work his magic and find a great player like Whiteside. Oh, okay. All right, but let me get to what I'm saying. <sighs> I have to be objective. I have to just tell my truth. I have I have to talk my shit. I have to say what I. This is what I feel. This is what I say, and what I say is that the Warriors. Are fraudulent. I'm sorry. They're pretty fraudulent. Um, Harrison Barnes. Let's start there. You say you're worth $20 million. My ass. My fucking ass. You're worth $20 million a goddamn season. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This performance in the finals. You don't deserve $5 million a season. This shit you just pulled in the finals. 
You should be fucking ashamed. You are a first yeah, off, you're you're, like you're a great person, but dude, you played like shit. You played like yeah. fucking shit this whole series. Your team needed you to step up, and you didn't. Next guy on the hit list, Azili. What the fuck is this? You say you want to be the backup big. You want your fucking money. You can kiss my ass if I was the GM. If I was Jerry West, Azili, Azili can fuck off. You ain't getting nothing out of me. Bro, I will go sign Pal Gasol over you. I will go trade for a team that has a abundant of, of big men. Bro, no. I am not paying you no damn $12 million, $14 million, $15 million. Fuck out of here, dude. No. Next person on the hit list. There we go. He's so irrelevant, I'm not even going to get on him. Next guy. But wait, but wait, though. But wait, though. He still gets a ring. <laughs> I don't know if that's confirmed. Uh, uh, I think he, he played enough games with the Cavs to get a ring either way. <laughs> I mean, either way, shout out to Andy, man. But I like to me, That's to crazy. me, Verizal played above expectation. In the last couple games, he did, but this was bad. It was bad, yes, but a lot of it was bad. But Verizal isn't supposed to be the, the glue to your team. No, um, but that just showed like how bad at this. I got a position that the Warriors are. Clay, you you didn't show up in this game when they needed you to do it the most. You didn't show up. This is a level take. You you disappointed in Game Seven. You 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 disappointed kind of in Game Six. But before this, you were on fire. So I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna let you skate by, bro. So you ain't gotta get this belt, all right? You know, like this is this this is just some tough love right here. This is that, you know. This is that I'm about to pull my belt out on on some guys, all right, and I'm about to. Just treat y'all like y'all my children for a second. No, no, like no, you know, like abundance of um, you know, a distinction of who's worthy of the cash or who's not. But I just had to do it. So the distinction I'm trying to give y'all is Curry versus Kyrie. Curry, I am beyond appalled at you. I am appalled. I am appalled and I am sad that this happened. I'm disappointed. And this is the type of thing that could devastate an entire career. We all thought that Penny Hardaway was going to come back after they got swept by the Rockets. Oh, Penny's going to be back. Penny's a superstar. Penny's going to be fine. You know, his knees are bad, but, you know, he'll be all right. You know, Penny's going to be just fine. Penny was not just fine. Penny never made it back to a finals. So this is not promised for Steph Curry. You, you all, this is not promised. But let me stay on base here. Steph, you disappointed this entire series. Besides game four, you are a ghost. I'm not trying to hear the injury talk. I'm not trying to hear the MCL talk. I'm not trying to hear that. I'm really not. Because if you're the MVP... If this is your team up 3-1, all you need to do is give me one out of the last three games. And you couldn't. You have failed to secure this ring. And this is on you. This is really on you. Game seven, you're doing behind-the-back passes to, you know, ghosts and shit out of bounds. You're shooting dumbass shots. You were an embarrassment out there tonight. You really were. You were an embarrassment. And it's sad because Kyrie literally, like, I'm really, I'm almost contemplating, like, who who I would take, honestly. Like, but before, it wasn't even a discussion. Yeah, give me Curry over Kyrie any day. I'm now starting to think it might be a little, it's, it's the, the, the waters are muddy. All right, it's not just clear cut. Oh, give me Curry over Kyrie. Kyrie, that's a grown ass man. That's a grown ass man. All this, I mean, all he does is do the hero ball. All he does is ISO. I don't like that. I like team ball. Sneak, I love you, bro. 
but please shut the fuck up. I have to call you out. Captain Sneak on Twitter, that's my brother. So much love. But I, I, I got to call you out, fam. I'm going to need you to shut the fuck up for, for a second. I'm going to need you to just shut the fuck up. I mean, I don't really like Hero Ball because I like Team Ball better. What the fuck are you talking about? People like Sneak and Sneak himself. Sneak is a Mavericks fan. He's very salty that, you know, D-Way beat his team. And he's a LeBron hater. It's 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 very salty. It's very sad. It's very corny. But people still hate on LeBron James. It's quite it's quite sad, honestly. But let's let's let, let's just, you know, unpack this, Ryan. Okay. Okay. So you're up 3-1. And then you lose the next three games. And you're supposed to be a top three, top two, top one team of all time in the NBA? Yeah, there are people that that was the narrative. That was the narrative. I saw this going around if, if, everywhere. If that, then my response to that is that's just a little. That's, that's extremely short sighted. That is not factoring because in the softness of the yeah. NBA. Well, not even just if we want to go into like the different eras and all that. But I was just gonna say, even if they did win, yeah. It's 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 a debate because it's it's really tough. Like Bill Bill Russell said it best. I don't compare ghosts. It's really tough to say you know what team is empirically better because of how they played in the different eras. Like you know the '96 Bulls back in those those '90s, uh, zone defense was illegal, so you you get a technical foul if you didn't play man defense, and that was made for ISO ball. Um, that's true. So that's my only thing. That's my only thing about that. So it's like if you want to, it's a per- when we talk about you know this greatest team of all time. Keep in mind that it should be your personal thing. Like for me, I don't think I, I think the '86 Celtics are in the in the conversation. Um, I think the '96 Bulls are in the conversation. I think Showtime Lakers have, are in the conversation. And whoever you think you you're gonna put one, okay, that's your favorite team. I'm not gonna say that you know. You know, it's it shouldn't be. You know, I'm just gonna say this is my favorite. You know, and I just want to break this down for a second because people like Captain Sneak. Follow him on Twitter so you can see his salt and his tears. Uh, <laughs> but I need you all to um, understand. People like Sneak. Sneak, I'm gonna have to come at you, bro, because you you've really been pissing me off oh. all series. Oh, to my fellow Patriot fan, I can't protect. And you it's now. and it's very annoying. But but it's funny as hell. But it's so annoying. It's like a little cousin who just won't leave you alone, and I like it. So I'm gonna go in on you real, real quick. Fan pause real quick. But I gotta go in, and there are people who are like, I mean, ISO ball. That's not real basketball. What are you talking about? But your favorite players are Jordan and Kobe. Please stop it. Please stop talking to me. Please stop talking to me when your favorite players are Jordan, that's, Kobe, and Iverson. That, you know, and then you say that yeah. that you fucking hate hero ball. Do you even watch basketball? Do you even watch yeah. basketball? <laughs> I mean, I saw ball. That's not real basketball. I like real players. <laughs> I like team players. Who's your favorite player? Kobe, get the fuck out of my face. Stop. <laughs> stop. Stop it. That is the most annoying shit on the planet. Curry, this whole fourth quarter was ISO, 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 ISO. Yeah, you, you did. This whole playoffs. Is, Not the whole playoffs, but with this playoffs. We a had a great lot majority of, of Curry's points playoffs. were off ISOs. A lot. Uh, I don't. I don't. I can't say. A lot. I have to look that one up. I, oh, he did. He did a lot, but I, I. I don't feel confident saying how much. Just a lot, and hopefully we can have a guest show up. I just got um, a very, very encouraging uh, DM from somebody who might join us to, tonight. But um, yeah, go and check on that, Ryan. This is this is. Real- yeah, yeah. And um, I just want to talk, man. I I I, did, I really just wanted to talk because I said, I said to everybody after Game Three, after they blew them out by thirty, I said this is going seven. Ryan did not think. Ken did not think. You know, easy said that. Uh, Maybe. I, yeah, what's point? up? I thought it, I I wanted it to see the series tie up at okay. two before I considered it like a back that's fair. series. And that's fair. And and then it didn't, and then it went 3-1. I was like, oh, shit. That's why I, I didn't want to jump to that conclusion. Yeah. But not all series are necessarily going to play out the way you think. Just like, you know, the Cleveland Cavaliers 
doing what the Boston Red Sox dude, did in 2004, dude, coming back from 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 a three. I'm sorry, dude. Let me tell you something. Let let me tell you something. After Cam Newton did what he did in the Super Bowl, I said I no longer believe in the sure thing. I no longer believe. I no longer believe in the team that's better on paper, who has been better all year. I no longer believe in the MVP just because you're the MVP. Yes, I picked Golden State in seven, but go back and listen to that podcast. I said, out of respect for LeBron's greatness, this is going seven. And I would not hate if LeBron won the fucking finals. And what just happened, you all? LeBron won the fucking finals. Let me go in on the haters real quick. Just, 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 just let me talk my shit for a second. Because I'm so fed up. I'm so fed up. I am so disgusted. I'm so... You all should be embarrassed at this point. At this point, you should be literally embarrassed if you're walking around saying, I am fuck LeBron. Why you hate LeBron? Because he's not like Jordan. What? <laughs> what? what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> he's not like Jordan. I mean, he's not even like Kobe. What the fuck are you talking? That's not a reason to hate some. Oh, he's LeBron James. Yeah, but he left Cleveland. The decision. Okay, he brought a ring back to Cleveland. So, fuck him. What? What are we saying? The same people who are like, oh my God, LeBron is being so passive. He's such a bitch. He's such a bad player. He's scared of the moment, right? But the moment he takes it in, oh my God, LeBron is so selfish. I saw ball. What? What? What are we saying? There is a disconnect in LeBron haters' brains. There is a disconnect. There is a disconnect. Let me just talk on a personal level. As a man, I see people disrespect LeBron James like like he fucked their baby moms, robbed them of all their money, burned their house down, killed their dog, and burned all their plants. That's what that's what the disrespect comes off like. But yet LeBron is a role model for just an athlete in general. Zero scandals, zero off the court distractions that come with a whole bunch of raggedy ratchet bullshit. You 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 don't see LeBron in the club popping bottles, getting in fights and <laughs> Stevenson. Okay. Yeah. You don't see Le, okay. you don't see Le LeBron James Smashing a whole bunch of Instagram thoughts, getting caught up, <laughs> Clay Thompson. You don't see LeBron knocking up a whole bunch of random, a bunch of random ratchet hood rats <laughs> having babies all over the place. No, Dwight Howard. He is a role model for what the athlete should be off the court. You can disagree with the decision, even though I think that's the most pretentious, see-through bullshit excuse to hate a person ever. But it's okay. All right. I'll take that. Anything else, I'm not hearing it at this point. You have zero reason to hate LeBron. You have a couple reasons that he's not your favorite yet. Or you don't uh, he like does some things that are kind of devious, you know. It's not really, it's not really my thing, or I don't really like like him like as a you know. I don't, I don't like his brand a lot. But as a player, as a man off the court, the hatred I see is on that level. It's not on the level of, yeah, LeBron is cool. He's a great player. He's he's you know, if 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 the takes were simply just, yeah, LeBron is an amazing player, dude. I mean, he's not my favorite in terms of his brand. You know, I disagree with the decision that the fact that it was it was televised, but you know. You know, it is what it is. I like him, though. Then I would be perfectly fine. But there are people who walk on this earth and act as though LeBron James smashed their mom, fucking burned their house down, robbed them of all their money, spit in their face, and just do like a whole bunch of unnecessary shit. Like, they are so extra when it comes to a LeBron James. Yes, the charges were false and it was not true. But bruh, Kobe had a damn rape charge and y'all ain't say shit. Shaq is out here cheating on his wife. Y'all not saying shit. Yeah, yeah, bruh, that's what Kobe said. Kobe was like, man, you know, Shaq is out here paying girls 
you know, to not, you know, for abortions and shit. Yeah, I'm getting deep. I'm getting deep because I'm tired of it. Dwight Howard is out here with like fucking eight children by like five different. Yeah, like okay, come yeah, on, yeah, dude. that one, that come one, on, that dude. one. Ooh, and y'all ooh. acting like Le- Le- LeBron James is the worst person in the NBA. I am so happy for you, LeBron. I am so happy for you. I am so proud of you because the play on the field is is just incredible. And forgive me if you if people think that I'm saying some shit out of pocket, but frankly, my my dear, I don't give a fuck because I'm tired. I'm so fed up. With the hatred, I'm so fed up with this the the pretentious see through bullshit that is thrown at this man for no reason. Do I agree with everything he did? Do I agree with everything he's done? No. But to love your brother, you don't have to agree with everything. Just because we disagree, don't mean we family. That's the mantra. That's the code. So yes, Le- LeBron has done things that I don't agree with. LeBron has done things that m- make me be like, "What the fuck, dude?" But my own father, my own mom, my own sister, my own family have done shit. Where I've been like, "Man, what the fuck?" But at the end of the day, it's all love. At the end of the day, I want to see you win. At the end of the day, I want to see you achieve. But on the basketball level, he has cemented himself in so many top fives and top threes. If he gets one more, he might be top three. But he's in my top five. For reference, my top five right now, he's overtaking Bird. So number one, Jordan. Number two, Magic. Number three, Kareem. Number four, Kobe. Number five, LeBron James. Number six will be Larry Bird. And I am so happy for you, LeBron, because people think I'm a hater. I don't. I, I have no clue where this thing got started, where people think I hate Le- LeBron James. Like, I literally love LeBron. It must have been misinterpreted. I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. People, everybody's like, "Man, you hate the no, I don't." Like, what the hell? I hate, dude. I don't, I don't even. I don't. I don't even hate Tom Brady. I don't hate athletes, dude. The only athletes I hate are the ones who are annoying as shit and they're losers. Or they're bad people. Yeah, or they're like bad people. Peyton Manning. Yeah, like or they're yeah. I fuck fuck Peyton Manning. But dude, we have to speak yeah. on just the fact that this was an amazing series. As NBA fans, we got a great treat. We had a great series. Whether you wanted Golden State to win or not, man, you have to put your hands t- together. And I'm just, I'm so fed up with just the pretentious see through bullshit coming from the hatred. The haters who speak on this man's name as if he hasn't been at this for 18 years. And now that he's fulfilled it, I'm seeing a whole bunch of people saying, I mean, well, if Bogey was injured, then they would have won. Well, the same shit happened last year with Kevin Love and Kyrie. Y'all gave them no slack. I gave them no slack. So to be consistent as a man, I have to give no slack to Stephen Curry's injury, Draymond's suspension, and Andrew Bogut. I have to give no slack because this is the time in the playoffs when you're hurt. Everyone's hurt. Everyone's injured. Everyone is not 100%. A lot of guys are teetering on 50%, actually, but they play through it. So Stephen Curry being hurt, that's not an excuse to me. Bogut being out, that's not an excuse to me. Draymond's suspension, that's not an excuse to me. Yes, I tweeted that Bogut's injury was was a serious alter. It was. It was. Okay. That doesn't mean that that's an excuse for you to go out there and go, what, six for 25 or some shit? Curry, like, what the hell are you doing? But let me digress. Because we have a man in the in the in the podcast right now man. who um uh for 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 for, for just so long suffering this has been really suffering good. after every loss. The Orlando series, he's seen him leave. He's seen the man come back. He's seen him be disrespected by the owner. He's seen everything under the sun when it comes to this man from Akron calling himself King James. He's seen the clutch sports, everything. We have a man who is a writer for DanaHipHop.com, done multiple articles, done multiple reviews. He's also an uh, entertainer himself. He's an artist. The man stole the lazy genius is on our show, resident Cavs fan of, of Off the Bench. 
And I just want to ask this man one question because he's been at this for so long. He suffered so many times. He's almost an Eagles fan, basically. So with, like, with, like, with, like, all, 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 all the tears that I've endured, he's endured them twice as harder. The city's economy ran on one man, and then he left. And now he's back to deliver on his promise. So, what are you feeling, bro? Talk to Yo, me. Let's go. The time is now. Finally, after all the years of being mocked, LeBron James, <laughs> the king, the best player, in NBA history, yes, NBA oh fucking history God. has oh, come man. through, and he's blessed oh, us with a championship. He's done it. <laughs> we are doing hot I, takes all I day. Take alert. I, I take alert. alert. <laughs> so I'm not with you on best player ever. <laughs> but get off, get off, let, let get him off let him me. Be. The time is now. Let him be. Let him be. He, he is top <laughs> fucking five, hands down. If he's I not in your list. top five, you gave a list, bro. If he's not in your top five, then you're just Wait, you're just smoking. What's up? All right. So, Stowe, I want to yes. I want to come out approach this to you um, as a as a Boston fan overall. I can relate in a sense of how the Red Sox were cursed for the eighty six years with the curse for the World <laughs> Series. So I can only like I can relate to how it felt like always coming so close but never there, and then to win it down basically. I think Red Sox were down three zero, um, but Cavs were down three one. So it's pretty pretty similar i just want to ask you like i how much adrenaline is like coursing through your system like right this second yo it's it's unbelievable because i was at i was at work watching the game and like i mean this is what game sevens are about this is what sports are like it's all about lebron yeah. james coming through down three one i thought we were done i'm not even gonna front i thought we were done like i was like i can't even believe Game two happened, and I can't even believe that we're down three fucking one. Like, what is it? I think two or three teams in NBA history have, have come back. I no think. team has no, ever come back. No, 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 no team finals. has ever come back down three one or down three games to, when the opposing team has three games, but only three teams have won game sevens on the road. Two of them are the Celtics, and the other one was uh, – Okay. I got to look it up, but two of them are the Celtics. I know that. Point is, history was not in our favor. We were going up against the best exactly. team the best, with the best record. Like, and after I'm not gonna front, Kevin Love, you know, didn't even show up in this shit. I don't understand what's going on with that man. I don't think he's coming back next season. But really, uh, I he think shouldn't. He really? shouldn't. I don't think he should. He doesn't deserve really? to after this shit. Wow. No. Wait, wait. Can I can I play contrarian just a little bit? Go ahead. All right. That defensive possession he did against Curry, man. I mean, it's one possession me. does not that make up for. Wait, but if he wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me give you his stat line because his defense. I'll be. I'm, I'm with you when I say he's a liability on defense, but it hasn't been as bad as like we as people shit on him. Man. It's not even the defense though. His offense doesn't okay. make up okay. for That's it. Fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's a very fair point. Um, Love was. Should be better. Three for nine. He was a plus. Ni- he was a team high plus nineteen. He had fourteen total rebounds, three assists, uh, one turnover, nine points. His, his biggest contribution was rebounds and defense tonight. Mm. I'm just putting that out there because I honestly thought that maybe he was going to get traded. But then after I saw this, I'm like, maybe he might not get traded because if he doesn't do some of these things, then they might not win this game seven. Yeah, he's supposed to be a 6'10 dude who can shoot the basketball. There aren't too many dudes that can do. He had the advantage. Like, I feel like he should have been able to be more aggressive. I, I, like, I, I understand oh, I defensively he sucks. Right. Like, fine, whatever. Right. But, like, yeah. he should be able to drain shit over these, over these warrior niggas. But I, I can't front. <laughs> 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 Andre Iguodala and Draymond Green are two amazing defenders, and they shut yeah, that shit. Bro, yeah. you know what? So can I can I just ask you real, real quick? Because everyone talks shit, I talk my shit, but I'm consistent with with my shit talking. And you know, I'm so fed up with like like I said, just the pretentious. You know, oh man, you know LeBron, you know all this shit they always say about him, right? But can we just talk about Curry for a second? Curry choked. Like we we really need to drive this home. Curry choked. He literally choked. This is I, I, a game seven on your home court. 
It's on your floor. You right. are up seven. Right. And you don't expand that lead? I'm going to say are, this. Go ahead. I, I, I believe, honestly, I attribute the Warriors losing this series to Klay Thompson opening his mouth after, mm. what was it, after a game? After I think. the game five, I think. Yeah, something like that. It was like LeBron's in his feelings. And Le- LeBron doesn't play that shit. I don't understand why people keep thinking this, this has happened so many times before. You make fun of LeBron, he, he may get in his feelings, but I guarantee you he's going to tear you a new one. And that's exactly what he did immediately after that. Uh-huh. So I, I honestly attribute it to Klay Thompson uh-huh. thinking that uh, they were hot shit after that one game. Q, Bruh, all I know, before. all I know <laughs> is that Draymond, Draymond, Draymond oh went off. He made me lose my shit tonight. But he would, bro. <laughs> like honestly, it was fucking crazy. Like, it was absolutely, it's a, you, it was insane. I got you up right now. Uh, honestly, it it was me, but like I just had to do it, bro. All I know, <laughs> all I know is that Draymond played his ass off, and had to, bro. Curry, see, here's the thing. When 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 Clay was like, when Clay said that shit, bro, I was just honestly. Oh, don't do it. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. Honestly, like, like it was just <laughs> really Clay. What the fuck are you doing? I said, what are you doing, Clay? And he 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 put like you don't tug on Superman's cape. You just don't you do, that do that shit. You can't just do that. Certain things so you many, just don't do. So many players have made that exact same mistake, and you know. LeBron doesn't play that anymore, and he's he's a, and he. I remember he was like, "I'm gonna. I've been doing this for so long now. I'm gonna hold my tongue. I'll do it again." And then I'm just like, "Well, he's about to snap. You've done it now, Clay Thompson." And that's exactly what happened, bro. I, like so, the moment uh, I saw LeBron's Boston look in in his face, right, bro. Exactly. <laughs> like, dude, I was so was excited. Good. That performance was still better. I, I was yeah, so yeah, excited. I that out there right now. Really? I will say, I, I think Game Six was was that peak, peak, peak best he's ever done. Really? I really do. Okay. He, he burned. I, I, I ain't gonna, I'm a Celtics fan, and I 2012 will forever be in my 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 scars <laughs> of things that I I like. I can't fully. Like, Bruh. talk about without getting a little emotional. Like, he burned the garden down. Oh, my Man, God. <laughs> Dude. Like, he did. Like, I remember watching it, and it's just like, oh, my God. So, who, who, who are you taking in a one-on-one, Kyrie or Steph? Oh, my, what? In a in a one-on-one? Oh, I'm easily taking Kyrie. Come on, now. Like, okay. I, I think, I do think that Steph is, he's an unbelievable shooter. Like, people, I, and that's why I don't understand why he played so badly in the finals, because, like, not badly, but like he didn't not up to you, you the competition. Didn't see what he said this whole year. Say that again. You didn't see what he was doing. Like we saw the Curry this whole year. Even even game six right. and seven, Curry was so much better than. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm talking about the uh, the, the, the OKC. Yeah, Thunder. Like where the fuck yeah, was that? Yeah. People yeah, disregarded like, that. See, here's my thing, Ryan. Is that people bring up the MCL sprain? All right. Okay. Cool. But to me, on a scale from one to ten, that factor bearing in the series is about a one. So I say that because um, no one was saying anything about the sprain in the game six and seven. Oh man, or you know, Curry looks Curry looks back, man. Curry looks pretty. I saw so many tweets. Yeah, he looks a little he looks a little bothered, but dude, Curry's really back now. And no one's they, said anything about that. They 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 did in the in the games they were losing. <laughs> exactly. See here's Man, the thing. See, see, see here's the thing. Here's the Wait, thing. Uh, okay, fine. Here's the, the thing. Point, Let I'll me go, go in. Let me go in <sighs> real quick. First off, when Kyrie hit that three, I was so lit, bro. I was just like, <laughs> let's fucking go, bro. Please, please tell me you got the DJ Khaled. Bruh. Like, can we bring that back? Bruh. I haven't even done this since like the like the pit. See, it's, see, it's all about evolution and Khaled. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna bring that back when the time is right. But <laughs> I have to just speak on Aisha because Aisha, Wait, we're going everywhere. I'm going. We are going everywhere because this is just, uh, this is a collage. This Bro, is no 500 rock. right now. No zero to 100. We're on 500 right now. Like, this go, is rock. out there. Let's no go. Rock. This is this is the TLOP of podcasts. Just ev- sounds all over the place. Bro. Exactly. Honestly, I mean, oh my god, I was so weak. Like, bro, Riley, Riley is gonna look look at Steph like. 
Honestly, this is probably <laughs> the greatest shit. Getting these? This is the greatest <laughs> shit. Did you write a script for this? Or I did. No, I did. Because this is unscripted. This is what I do. I was so excited this to amazing. see Aisha get flamed because I'm gonna tell you this. <laughs> I like I, I I I like her. She's beautiful. She's a beautiful sister. Right. She is absolutely gorgeous. She's absolutely gorgeous. We all know this. But sometimes a pretty girl says some dumb ass shit. And we just have to speak. <laughs> all right. Man, this shit is rigged. They're doing this for money or something. But when y'all won last year though, when y'all won last year though, boo boo, you won't say shit. You won't say shit. <laughs> You yeah, you won't say shit. shit. shit boo boo. Like you know what I'm saying? I can't hard shit now. But dude, like they were like she wasn't saying shit. So now so now when y'all lose, it's oh, it's rigged. But last year you won't say a damn thing. And I'm and people really went in on Stephen A. Smith, and I don't like Stephen A. Smith. People know I don't, but he was completely justified in everything that he said. I don't think so. I think I he think was. So. I think I think he was completely justified. She needed to she needed, she needed to sit her ass down. She needed to turn that fucking phone off and she needed to stop tweeting. She came out with the fucking feminist t-shirt on the moment that Stephen A Smith called her out. See, this is that shit, man. Don't fucking cry foul when you get your shit called out. Oh, you're going to pit two women together, Stephen A. That's so, you know, just trying to pull the misogyny card. Yes, yes, we know Stephen A Smith does stupid shit. Let me make this point and I'm going to let you go. We know that Stephen A does stupid shit, all right? A lot. But <laughs> but in this situation, I think he was completely justified because she wasn't saying a thing when her man won in six games last year. She was completely quiet. It, it was go dub, go dub nation go on, yeah, on Twitter, all right? Before all the, all the hype okay. build up with this. Team. Okay, so when we go with her Twitter rant, Yes, is is it is it is it cool to call her, you know, the you know, call her a bitch and you know, no, that's completely out of out of pocket. But boo boo, honey, honey, <laughs> dear, my my dear, my beautiful black queen, you need to sit the fuck down because <laughs> you need to do that. That was so unjustified for you to call out. See, here's the thing. You got a whole bunch of simps out here. Man, Aisha, oh, Aisha, Aisha, Aisha can do she want, man. Aisha, man, she, man, she beautiful. Y'all need to stop. Aisha can do what she want. If that was my girl, she could tweet whatever she want. Shut the fuck up. Sit your <laughs> soft <laughs> ass down. Sit your soft ass down. This isn't. This isn't even on no hotep like bullshit. You need to sit down because <laughs> no woman should be no person should be speaking on their other half's business in which they work. Would you, like, I don't give a fuck if you're the manager at Taco Bell. I don't want my woman, or if if you're a woman, or whoever the fuck it is, I don't want my significant other to be tweeting, Facebook posting, tumblering, snapping, myspacing, Beboing anything about how this oh my my workplace is, you know, rigged or it's not set up for me to win. Because guess what? Guess what? For people who for people who actually live in, in the 21st century, you, you don't just get to speak out the side of your neck about your significant other's workplace. You don't do that. I think Steph so, tweeted it. Yeah, like so like if if your girl was like, My man uh and manager, he he a he a bitch. He ain't never paying my, my man enough. <laughs> Bruh, bruh, yo. You would be like, you would be like, yo, fam, chill out. What are you doing? <laughs> you gonna get me fired? But, but all yo. the simps on Twitter, man, Aisha, she's so beautiful. She can do what she want to do, man. Y'all need to leave her alone, bro. She, if that was my girl, she could do whatever she want. Okay, dusty my mother- motherfucker. That's what you would do <laughs> with your dusty ass. We know that you would let your one woman run you up and down and shit. Okay, but it has nothing to do with even gender. It just has to do with respect. If that was Steph tweeting that, you know, if Steph tweeted the Food Network and said, man, the Food Network ain't letting my boo cook because she black, everyone would be on Steph's ass. <laughs> but the fact that Aisha is pretty, she's light-skinned, she got all these beautiful kids, they, man, y'all need to leave Aisha alone. Aisha, she a queen. She can do what she want. Stop it. So I want to get into the officiating because that's what I'm trying to tie this in with. Did we all think, did we think the officiating, Where is we, this? Do, do we think what the officiating, it's going everywhere. do we think the officiating even lended itself to that tweet being 
oh, this is rigged. I think. Oh, I think that was. I think that was bad on both sides. I of think course. Steph tweeted it from uh, his wife's Twitter. I think Steph did it, just like Kanye. Oh my god! From- <laughs> <laughs> bro, the refs, this whole bro, the the refs, this whole series, bro. I'm legally blind. Like they were fucking blind. This whole fucking series, <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad. But at the same time, I'll say this: bad officiating on both sides is good officiating. That's not how that works. Two wrongs don't make a right. Good point. It doesn't. It does in basketball. If if both teams are getting, no, it does if, not. You just say that because we got LeBron. If, to win. if both teams are getting bad calls, then it leaves it up to an even playing field because both teams are on, are both getting penalized for for. Okay, see, that's where I would agree with you. Okay. That's where I would agree with you. Depending on whatever the car calls specifically, but then we get into that whole little thing. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, I wanted to mention this like, I don't know, 20 Go minutes ahead. ago? <laughs> this tweet where you wanted to mention about Cam Newton back when, you know, the yeah. Panthers. Uh, shout out to Matt Moore. I got a couple tweets from him tonight. Uh, so he, he tweeted this way back in April, in April of 2016. So Cam Newton, Under Armour, loses Super Bowl. Jordan Spieth, Under Armour, glasses in the master. Steph Curry, Under Armour, ellipsis. <laughs> oh. Dude. That is crazy. That's crazy. He just went back. He's like, I was joking about this, and I didn't think the Warriors would lose. But my God, bro, it's, it's like, funny. It's funny. I'm just, I'm do like all the, like. Uh, apparently, you know, apparently everyone is uh, talking about how this isn't like a great achievement, and oh man, LeBron, you know, and, and, you know. I just, you know, see, the only thing is when. The Cavs win. I'm sorry, no, no. When when the Warriors win, everybody's on their knees. Everyone's giving every hand job possible to Steph Curry. When LeBron wins, it is so quiet. The Bro, fucking love, hell. The, the 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 love on the time. Dude, it's a it's a ghost town on on the Bro, timeline. It, what um, it it like okay. what the fuck? Like no, just speak on. I want you to speak on this though. Speak on like- how the double standard for. The Cavaliers wins and the Warriors wins. How do you feel when one one minute when when Oakland wins? Oh, it's a lituation. Oracle's going crazy. You know. Oh, it's so awesome. I'm so happy for Steph. But when LeBron wins, oh yeah, that was a already win. Yeah, it was a pretty good, 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 good win for LeBron. <laughs> like what the fuck? Right. I it's it's crazy to me. I think that uh, I think it has to do with the fact that the Warriors. I mean, they did have the best record in NBA history. So. For that, for them to be going up against a team who people thought weren't that good because we were playing in the East and we were having problems in the beginning of the year, but people super slept on us uh, up until after. I'm sorry, during after the All Star break, and we started playing really good basketball and going into the playoffs. So for people to be to say that, oh no, the game's rigged. People like. Are we going to forget the fact that the Warriors missed so many open jump shots? And Dude, don't get me started with that. You can't tell me it's rigged when we're made. I mean, like the officiating, I don't believe that uh, the officiating had that much of an impact on the series, I think. At least not in game seven anyway. Uh, but I do believe. Not, not, a, not as big. Not as right. Big. But I don't think the officiating was terrible. And I do feel like it's there's a lot of flip floppers out there. It's obvious like you're going to root and be biased against the team or that you root for or whatever. But it was just ridiculous seeing, Oh, the, the NBA is rigged. Like they're not going to let LeBron not get his third trophy and all this shit. I'm just like, come on. Like, are you serious? Like, like you stupid. Like, honestly, this is just fucking <laughs> like, like, how do you, how do you just have these loaded up? Like, like, cause he's on like, his phone. He's like, his phone. like, dude, like I, I do this. Like, this is what I do. But at the same time to piggyback off what Stowe was saying, I think we just need to analyze how Kyrie literally grew up before our very eyes. Dude. Um, do I think he's become CP3 and he's learned how to, to, to he's learned how to pass? No, 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 I don't. Obviously, I don't. Wait, wait, wait. Can What's I throw up? this up there? So, yeah. I want to ask you this because Q and I have talked about this before. Do you think Kyrie should play shooting guard? 
That's a really that honestly is a really good question. I I don't know because I honestly feel like he would be undersized as a as a shooting guard. He's what six four yeah, I think. That's fair. Um, that's defensively, fair. he'd be playing up against people that are what six four anywhere between six four and like six eight. I don't see that going well. Yeah, and like, like uh, but at the same time, people also are sleeping on the fact that Kyrie was a pretty good point guard in the playoffs. He didn't. He wasn't. He obviously wasn't putting up like. A, uh, 10, 11 assists, like Steve Nash style, but like he was getting teammates involved. And like, that's more than like, I think uh, last year he was, he was getting anywhere between like maybe three, four assists a game. Cause he was too busy trying to be LeBron. Like, so now he, that's I feel like this year he played more as a point guard. I don't think he's great by any means, but in terms of uh, point guard aesthetics, like passing and stuff like that, but I don't see anything wrong with him being, a scoring point guard, especially when he fucking drops forty one. So I, mean, I can't. Well, sure. <laughs> I mean, dude. Yeah, because the difference between Steph and um, the, like like the difference between Steph and uh, Kyrie this uh, this season, not season, but this uh, postseason, is um, one Kyrie had to be a part of this team. He had to be involved. If he was not involved, and he didn't go off. They were done. It couldn't just be. Well, they needed. They needed his squad, scoring yeah. badly. And I'll tell you this, Kyrie's defense on Curry, it was very underrated, very unappreciated, very, like, not talked about. People were not talking about how Kyrie played some very good minutes on Curry, stepped up to, stepped up to the uh, challenge, man. And at times, you know, a lot of times, like, it was, it was, it was, it was really like LeBron looked at Kyrie and he was just like, because he just needed a fucking point guard to do what he's supposed to do. And what he did, what what he did at times is, you know, he he would get a strip here and there. Um, he would play tough defense on him, dude. He was not letting him get to his shots. And a lot of the time, it was actually, I I believe it was um Braun actually actually guarded Curry most of the time. And you remember what I told you? No, that's that's what I was gonna say. That was more so because that was. You remember what? I, remember what I told you the first uh, podcast after uh, the two games was? You know what they need to do is they need to find a way to. Or, or, or was this on the dead end sports? I can't really remember. I, it was it was one of the two because I remember on B, I, I watched the B ball breakdown video about it. I was like, yeah, that is the. Best and I said they have to find a way to switch LeBron on Curry more. And guess what? Ty Lu did it. When it comes to the Cavs, man, I shed a tear, dude, because I was just like, this is 18 years of a man's work trying to bring this state and his city a ring. And yeah, this is so much more than just basketball. It's like his I remember seeing his documentary and being so affected by it more than than a game. You remember when they had that awful single with Drake and Eminem? You know, yep. that was <laughs> what, you mean I mean no, stop it. But you know, it was just like <laughs> that was awful song. But when they had that more than a game, Eminem was was it um voted it was directed by Spike Lee, if I'm not mistaken, more than a game. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. so. It was Spike Lee who did Kobe doing work, and then he did after that. I think he did um, a more than the game in 2009, and I, I remember seeing that shit, and I was just like, dude, this is heavy, because LeBron talked about him not having no dad growing up, and how he wanted to just be a better father to his kids, how like he had his boys with him for you know years, and um. For him to have, you know, Maverick and all his guys to be there to witness him win that and him to collapse on the floor just out of like, dude, I literally think he broke his wrist. I don't think he's no one's talking about that. I really think he broke his wrist. Yeah, but I don't um, know. understand. People were saying that like he uh, was acting, but like that was a pretty hard hit and he okay. landed pretty awkward. So, dude, that like, was, uh, I think I think what that more was was a ligament in his in his um in his arm than anything else, and that's that, those are the worst type type of pains. It's worse than a bone break, honestly, because once you lose feeling in your hand, it's fucking gone. But I saw the I saw the stigma in his hand. Somebody tweeted that all also, also, but dude, I the stigma, yeah, yeah that was dude, Jason conception. That was that was crazy, but um. You know, we just gotta talk about we gotta talk about Kyrie's go ahead three. Okay, um, dude, I mean, who didn't? How, how did no one? How did no one see this coming though? Because Kyrie's been a killer from since college. Like I said, as soon as he got the ball, I I looked at my father and I was like, "Yo, he's gonna get this." And when he shot that shit, I was like, "Let's fucking go, bro!" This like, man I, put the team on his back. 
I was so confident in that shot just because he, he he's done that before. Another thing that I want to talk about with with uh, Stowe real quick is uh we need we do need need to talk about Kevin Love more. Um, so you said that you think he needs to get get traded. I said this. Oh, also. I think it's happening. I I thought that for like I was convinced that maybe he he'd do okay. Uh, mm-hmm. he'd stay if he did well in the finals, but like he's just been such like just he's been a drag. Right. It, he, I thought that if he could just bring, even if it was just like 18 and 10, like, give me something, dog. Like, you're such, he's such a talent. Like, I thought that he was going to bring something really, really unique to our team. And like, it never showed up. And er, the thing, the thing, the thing that I read about that was uh, Nate Jones, uh, Kevin Durant's or a former agent, marketing agent, or on his team. Um, word around the league, I guess, is that Kevin Love's knees were apparently shot. So that may be why he's been struggling all year. Okay. I don't know. I don't know all the, the, the words about that, but he's the only one I saw that. And usually when he brings up points, there's there's some truth to it. There's an iota of truth to it. Now, he's not one to like lie about that. So I was just like, that's... He's shot from what? I seen, you, know, you don't hear that talk about ESPN. Shot from what, though? He's not dunking on anybody. Like, what's he doing? Like... I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what could have caused it. Like, I, don't know. A, I honestly, I would. Yeah, love with like um, Mark Stoudemire, like that shit makes sense. But with with Kevin Love, who doesn't do much, like what, what, what I don't understand do that. That doesn't really make much sense, honestly. But like, well, the other thing about it is that his he did lose a lot of a lot of weight from Minnesota. Here, right, right. Right. So when in the thing that made sense, I forgot where I heard this on what podcast. I wish I remember. Um, when you have that weight, you still kind of move slow. So maybe that's also why you didn't think he'd be as nimble or as of a scoring threat. Maybe because even with the weight loss, so that may be somewhat related. But I don't. I just think like his fit. It's like with his skills. It just. It's not what they're asking them. They, it just doesn't. It's not conducive. I just. It just doesn't matter. I don't know. I just feel like. Uh... I just needed this nigga to shoot shots and make, make <laughs> that's literally it. I didn't, I did not need him. Like, I understand he's a post player, whatever. Like, that's cool. Dude, that's- I really yeah. feel like you, yeah. that you could have gotten more from Brandon Bass. But I think the most important thing about this finals is to just bring up is that we don't need to be giving passes to Golden State. And I think Ryan brought up a point about injuries and he said to his credit that this isn't going to be an excuse. My counter to this is people will use it as excuses. And I think those oh, people... To those yeah. that do, then, then we get a whole little back and forth about... And I hate the uh, back and forth. Oh, man, I mean, well, the injury was there. Okay, yes, the injury was there. There are a lot of injuries in a lot of finals. It happens. Injuries are a part of the, the, the game. As long as you're not hobbled and you can't fucking walk and your back is con- constricting you like, like Larry Bird... Then you have no excuse, and even then, Larry said, "Don't make excuses for me," and that's a and that's a, that's just a testament to a you know a champion, you know. Kevin McHale playing yeah, like Kobe, play. Kobe played with broken fingers and all that shit. Come on, man. Let's not pretend that the Warriors didn't have a multitude of weapons on their team. Like, they did. People super sleep on that. Like we, like yes, we had LeBron James, best player in NBA history, and uh, <laughs> Kyrie, Kyrie Irving. Um, <laughs> wait, but. Other than that, like, I mean, yes, we had Tristan Thompson and stuff like that, but below that, like, Harry, like Tristan's the Warriors, not like an imposing, like, offensive right. tool. The though. Warriors' fourth, fifth, and sixth man are better than ours. Let's not sleep. Like, I. Their fourth, yeah. fifth, and sixth might be better than y'all's fourth. I'm sorry, y'all. But y'all's. Uh, y'all's, third y'all's third. Because we have a ring. It doesn't matter. We have yeah. a ring. They got the ring. So, but 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 at the end of the game, though, at the end of the day, it 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 does matter because I see a lot of slander and a lot of disrespect coming Cleveland's way from people who are trying to use the injuries and use the you know the suspension as um they're you know they're they're basically coming at it from the angle of well we don't know what would happen and yes. Congratulations, Captain Obvious. We don't know what would happen. That's why it's called hindsight. We don't know what the fuck would happen. So what we do know happened is a team lost after being up 3-1. We have to understand, dude, that if we're going to slander the Cavs last year, we have to slander Golden State this year. 
the crying Jordan meme discriminates against nobody. And it can happen to the best of us. It happened to Cam, happened to Russell, Will, Russell Wilson in the Super Bowl. It happens. It does not discriminate. Yeah, bro. Hey, bro. What? Man, we got, man, crying Jordans were on deck for Russell Wilson, dog. But that's why we need to hand out our L's and our crying Jordans accordingly. I don't think Draymond deserves a crying Jordan. All right. What? Does. No. Draymond, what? Does, Draymond does not deserve that. Bruh. He doesn't deserve it. For this 30 point game, he, he played his ass off. He, he, he was one of the only. for a game? He he was one of the only warriors to come out and dap LeBron up. There's a there's a respect there, and I actually do like the fact that he came out and dapped him up. He was one of the only warriors. Steph is too busy in in, in the back room crying, tweeting. T- no, you're doing Man, Curry, I, go on my Twitter. Crying. Go on, go on my Twitter. EQ got no rings. Last tweet. I'm gonna say that right right now. So wait, you can see. Hold on, Steph, hold on, hold on. Check Stop it out. Everything. I got a question real quick because. Because Q, you've been shitting on my calves from I the have it. Uh-oh. What? Go ahead. What? Uh-oh. Go ahead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Go, go ahead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let me pull out this Twitter real quick Speak. because bruh. Speak. Speak. bruh. Been no, you, you my did you did Q, you do have some tweets. Yeah. I think I can shitting the, shitting on the calves? Game. Bro, you are not for I'm pretty sure you've been Yeah, you've been sending them all playoffs. You're like, oh I Toronto should be, Toronto should be in the finals or uh, oh uh, no, uh, no, sir! Oh, no, 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 not, no, not I, not I, not you. Not Hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me see if I can pull up. Anto, not. Let me I. see what I can. Dude, we gotta, we have a damn Dennis sports video. <laughs> Bru, bruh, the rap? No, not you. Must be mistaken. You must no. be talking to Q, the you seventh man. The I don't know <laughs> you speaking to. I have said I have been very consistent. I still stand behind the fact that the Cavaliers benefit from a weak East, but that still does not deal with the fact that LeBron James just shitted on the entire league. I'm consistent in my slander. I give it, I give it, I give it just as much to KD and Russell as I'll give it to LeBron and Kyrie. I'm giving it to the, the, the Warriors. I have never once said that the Cavaliers are a trash team. You know, I've said players on on that team are trash. And yes, I do think that fucking Kev, Kev, Kevin Love is pretty fucking garbage. I I think he is. <laughs> He's pretty fucking terrible. But Kyrie, Bron, no. The most I've said is Bron and Kyrie had to chill out with with their bad ISOs. Here's the thing. And I want to go back to this because I said this about Sneak and guys like Captain Sneak. They use this excuse that, oh, I, man, this ISO ball is so bad for the league. This ISO ball is so horrible. But yet their favorite players are guys like Jordan and Kobe and Iverson. And it's just like, what are what are we talking about? And even Sneak will go on to disrespect people like Iverson. And that's what makes me get so angry at him because I'm like, dude, do you realize that those guys like Braun last year, like LeBron and Kyrie this year, they don't have shooters out the ass like like the Warriors do. Put LeBron and put Kyrie Switch out Kyrie and LeBron, so that means there's no Curry, there's no Harrison Barnes. This is probably that would be the most dangerous team that Le- 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 LeBron has ever had, because you had a shooter in Clay, you have a great, a, a good enough defensive center in Bogut, and we know this. So my problem is when people like Stowe will bring up the fact that I hate on the Cavs. I don't hate on the Cavaliers. I really don't. I'm pretty sure you want them to die in a pit, dog. I've never said anything <laughs> disparaging. I've never said anything dis- disparaging against Le- LeBron's character. I didn't, I've never shit on Kyrie. Wait, no, no. That LeBron is the only thing worth worth worthwhile besides Ky- Kyrie on on the Cavs. <laughs> Are it. we lying? I, like I can't. With you. I can't with you, Q. I can't. Am, We're, I mean, am, obviously. Obviously, we don't have like a stack team, and obviously, I do believe that uh, like J.R. Smith and Shumpert has been a horrible disgrace. I can't even believe that this nigga still is playing basketball. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, 
this man Shumpert can't lose he because this pro or something. Like I, I don't understand what's going on here. Like, Shumpert can't lose because he has Tiana Taylor in his bed every night. So like he's automatically he can he can stay. He's all, he, where he can. He, I don't care. I'm pretty sure there is no L handed to a man with Tiana Taylor on on his arm. There is no L handed. No L against him shall prosper. And the man just got a ring. So, yeah, he, he, he does have. He has black bars. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. He has black bars, but dude also got a fucking NBA championship. <laughs> Isn't this crazy? Iman Shepard, NBA champ. Uh, yo, yo, yo. He deserves it. Yo. Mozgov is a champion. Okay, hold what on. What is this? Hold on. What? That's not. What? Okay, y'all sleeping on my boy Mozgov. I'm not saying he's a guy. I'm not saying he's, 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 you know, a fucking. I'm not saying let's we're sleep. sleeping on it. I just want to know let's what let's the see, I, What? I think it. I just want to know what the heck I have happened. no idea. Honestly, I think when Tyron Lue came in. And kind of, I don't know, he really switched up our, our offense because we were no longer, like, Blatt had us trying to become the San Antonio Spurs. That wasn't going to work. And I feel that Tyron Lu kind of noticed the, definitely the up and down game that the Warriors play. And I guess, I mean, keeping Mozgov in the game ended up being a liability because this nigga can't run. And he can play some kind of defense, but in a high-paced game like this, there's no way Mozgov was going to survive. Um, and I think that's yeah. what, and I don't know if he'll be here next year or not, but I don't think he, I, he might. Yeah, be I, I don't think it really matters to be honest. He's now he's. I just don't feel like he contributed enough this season, only because of coaching. I don't think it's his fault, really. Like I don't think the offense was uh, was going to give him any type of advantage. He can't run that fast. You know what I'm saying? Like. He wasn't going to be able to play defense on the high-speed Warriors. Are you kidding me? There's no way. Nah. Skates. skates. <laughs> I mean, um, what else did I want to bring up? I believe we've covered um, almost um, everything in the universe possible. Not everything. What else do not Oh, yeah. Uh, can we talk about how Richard Jefferson is NBA championship? Two back-to-back <laughs> losses uh, with the Nets and now champion. Yeah. Yo, Barrage out <laughs> That is so lit. That trainer. That's so lit. That's so lit. How you go? What? Wait, did you say trainer? What? Don't do that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nah, he shouldn't have got rid of him, to be honest. I, was, I, was I didn't like that shit. I didn't like how y'all let go of I didn't no, like no, how y'all let go of like no, he's, like no, he's, he's definitely not. He's definitely not. Because, like, I think I made the joke that, like, oh, Anderson Barrage, I was in the back room telling him how our plays work and shit like that. Like, that was a joke, but, like, he, he probably bears out. We we shouldn't have got rid of. Him. That was ridiculous Maybe. that we got rid of him. I feel like because he's been so here through everything. Right, he's been here through everything, and you're just gonna toss him toss him away like garbage. Like this, you did, you did him bad. like Deshaun Jackson. It was just so it was so tragic for for the man. Pray for for the man. But honestly. <laughs> Um, there's like there's like maybe two more things that we, that we gotta talk about before we wrap up. Um, the one other thing that we had to talk about real quick. Um, okay. Um, where does this rank in terms of comebacks in sports? I think it's top three all time because this is this is a seventy three and nine uh, Warriors uh, team. Everyone's talk. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. Cool. But I think <laughs> everybody. I believe, uh, what's up? I believe it's if it's not. I mean, for me, it's it's number one. But I'm super biased. But like, yeah. you. But people are not yeah. taking into account that this man grew up in Cleveland. His dream was to bring us a championship. He came through in 2007 and went to the finals and got swept by the Spurs. I remember I was depressed as shit when that happened. I couldn't even believe it. Um, but you, you, you really, you couldn't believe that. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, just wait, I mean, really? just as a Cleveland fan, that's oh, okay. okay. I'm, I'm in terms of say. talent, of course they were gonna get swept. The Spurs were amazing. Like there's there's no way they weren't gonna just shut down LeBron and win a ring. Like yeah. anyway. Uh <laughs> two, he, he tries he tries two more times. Booby Pimpson, man. <laughs> Bro, first side, sidebar, Eric oh, Snow yeah. is so fat now, but seeing Eric Snow go up against Manu and uh um, Tony is still one of the funniest things I've ever seen in a finals <laughs> ever. <laughs> Even funnier than him trying to guard um, Kobe. Oh, man. Oh, man. 
It's 2001 terrible. Sixers, but go ahead, man. Uh, he tries two more times. Doesn't work out. People say he gave up or whatever. I don't believe that. But uh, he leaves to go play basketball with his niggas like any real nigga would do. Of and course. go scoop up some rings with his niggas. <laughs> And so he gets the rings, and we're, of course, Cleveland's just like Devin said, we can't even believe this is happening and all this stuff. We never think he's coming back. We're like, all hope is lost. And this man decides to come back. Now, granted, not under the best circumstances, because I feel like he kind of just gave up on the heat. He's like, well, got my two rings. See you guys later. Uh, And he comes back to Cleveland. Everybody's ecstatic. We can't believe it. Our hero is back. He's come here to save the day uh, and, and to finally bring us a ring. He goes to the finals. Everybody gets hurt. LeBron does the best that he can on his own, and it, we still come up short. And we're just like, wow. Like, and it, honestly, I was on the boat of yeah, maybe if we had a full team, like we could have won that. And then we start off this season. People started off saying that we had a chance to win, that we had a chance to, to, to beat the Warriors and stuff like that. And then we started playing like garbage. Like we were playing, I was like, I can't believe this. Like we're not even going to make it into the Eastern Conference Finals at this rate because we're playing terrible. Um, there's drama in the locker room, trade talks going on, like nothing's going right. And everybody, then people started counting us out and saying that they're that we're not going to even make it to the finals. If we do, we're going to get swept by the Warriors. That's crazy. So on the other side of the planet, the Warriors are winning game after game after game. Everybody's quote unquote falling in love with Steph Curry and all that shit and and saying that there's no way they're not gonna win a championship. They're the best the circle jerk was crazy. Right. With the best record in history, which honestly I was starting to, to feel I was like, damn, they are playing really good. Like this is unprecedented. And they did. But meanwhile did. after the All Star break though, we got our shit together. We stopped we stopped yes, you, you know trying to play one on one ball. We realized that we have a ton we, we did have a decent amount of weapons that could do damage. If, if they would step up and LeBron started showing confidence in his teammates and stuff like that, we get to the playoffs again. We start sweeping niggas. People are like, oh, it's the East. It's weak as shit. The Warriors are going to kick your ass. And, <laughs> and, the, and the Warriors are obviously struggling and stuff like that. And we're, we're taking care of business. We're doing what we have to do. Obviously, yes, the East is weaker, whatever. But you still have to work to get to the finals. I don't care what, under any circumstance. You know, we get back to, we get back to the finals. The time is now. We have to prove ourselves. This is it. We get crushed, absolutely embarrassed in game two. And I was like, I mean, I was disappointed. I'm like, okay, we're about to go home. Like, we can, we can make this up. But people were embarrassed. People were like, there's no way. I can't believe this. Like, fuck the Cavs. Like, how could they let us down? And mm-hmm. then the man, LeBron James, comes <laughs> through and just, it, it, like I said, Clay decided that he's he thought that the Warriors were better than King James and decided to open his big fat mouth like so many before him has done only to get crushed and that's exactly what happened LeBron James like you know what fuck this and just, he stopped being passive LeBron that was trying to pass and get 20 assists instead of dropping 40 points like he was born to do like and we finally make it all the way to game 7 mm-hmm. everybody's like no way this is gonna happen this happened. it's impossible and just I just feel like the one momentum for the past two games and stuff like that carried us to, to victory and here we fucking mm-hmm. are fucking finally we finally have a break <laughs> in Cleveland and stop talking shit about how shitty Cleveland is and stuff like that we're, we've been great y'all just been sleeping on us and now you see that we're great when LeBron brought this ring to Cleveland man, I have all the respect in, in the world for it I said Golden State in 7 but I'm, I'm, I'm a prophet and I'm also a phony because because I because I said in March that Golden State was not going to win. And that and that's a half truth because I did that thinking they it was going to be San Antonio. But something did not sit right with me. I've said this. Something did not sit right. After that Boston game, I was like, mm, I don't know, man. I don't think they, they I don't think they're yeah, they're going to do it. And hold on do it. They didn't do it. I can talk about they it. didn't do it. About that and we just have to give out the L's accordingly, dude. We have to speak on how Curry choked. We have to speak on how Thompson had a bunch of bad shots. We have to speak on Iggy's two missed free throws. I knew, I knew those were going to be huge misses. I said, oh, my God, this is where the game was lost. Wait, what? what Clay took a lot of... um. 
Well, first, I'm trying to think of the, the one that, that would really piss me. I was gonna say, there I was about know, three bad shots, bad shots where I said, that. Clay, what are you doing? Clay, up at the top. He was, there was one up at the top of the key. There was one where he was coming around on the screen. And there was one. Because the bad things, I think he did. Really? really? I thought I, th- I thought I thought he had a couple bad shot selections. I I'm not saying that that, that he shouldn't have shot because you know Clay, he you know he started stop off offense all day. He'll get started. He'll get, he'll get hot in a second. But my problem is, just we need to just hand out the L's accordingly, man. We can't <laughs> let we can't let this little you know six three point guard get over. We have to talk about this. We have to speak on how he choked. If LeBron went down in five, the memes right now would still be in circulation. Right. They would still be talking shit. If LeBron went down in six, if, if, if LeBron went down tonight, the memes would be vicious. Especially with that injury? Are you kidding me? <laughs> they would be vicious. <laughs> and, and we have to just talk about how big of a historical feat this is to come back from 3-1. We we talked shit about KD. I did. I talked my shit about KD. I talked my shit about Donovan. I talked my shit about Westbrook. But me, I'm an equal opportunity shit talker. I'm not just going to talk shit about you unless you're Toronto for no reason. Obviously. Yeah, there. I was about to say, hold on now. We Obviously. Gotta, we gotta, nice but the thing is, though, <laughs> Toronto gives me every reason in the world to hate on them. Every fucking reason in, 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 in the world. Every reason imaginable. They give it to me every single time. So that's y'all wanna check that out. Go watch that video. Um where I rant about the Raptors. YouTube.com slash dead in sports. It's the Raptors video. Not the if you're hearing this is too late. That's where I uh, take my victory lap in y'all's L's. But I'm the one before that where I talk my shit about your horrible ass team. But Okay, so sidebar that. So Curry, man, gets up 3-1. And he can't close out. This is this is truly a historical feat. And we and and it sucks for people who wanted them to win. Like I, I was I picked them to 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 win. My heart wanted them to win, actually. I'm not just gonna you know, jump on I'm not I'm not gonna jump on the LeBron wagon because he won now. I said at the very be- beginning of the of the finals, I had the Warriors in seven. But if LeBron wins, I will be extremely happy for him. I, w- I will be very happy with with that re- re- result. And I and I was overwhelmed by emotion because I just would think about all the times where I wanted to be LeBron. I was so sad when he left Miami because I thought that was going to be where his last career uh, stop was. You know. What? I, I, I really did. It's the OTB podcast, man. This is what we do. It's just me, Ryan. And we're, we're joined by our uh, guest, um, Stowe, uh, the, the resident Cleveland fan of deadinhiphop.com, the writer, uh, also entertainer slash art artist, uh, Stowe, the lazy genius. We're probably going to put that SoundCloud link in the, uh, in, the, 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 in the description. Go check out his music below. Um, if you like anything in this video, Subscribe, 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 Podcast. subscribe. Ryan's going to give you the info right now. Ryan, go and drop that knowledge on us. If you want to follow Big Stowe, his Twitter handle is at Big Stowe. If you want to follow myself, my actual account is at RLS003. Follow Q at Q, got no rings. You can follow the Off the Bench Twitter account at at O F F T H A N C H. Make sure, as always, this podcast will not exist without Dead End Sports. Uh, follow Dead End Sports on Twitter. Make sure you subscribe to their YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Dead End Sports. Follow them all the socials. Follow the individual host, Ken, K B I N G E, Kyle, 12 Kyle, BFO 24 7, BZ 430, and of course, can't forget Rod, I am Modest Media. Um, that is all the social accounts. Um, if you're listening to this on Audio Boom, Make sure you leave a like, rating. Uh, if it's on iTunes as well, five stars. Man, man. Like the commercial. Uh, Stowe is definitely. Oh, of course. Be invited again uh, to the podcast. I can't thank you guys enough for even having me on. Uh, thank you so much for for the super dope intro. Uh, just the fact that even anybody, anybody even wants to hear or read what I say is uh, everything in the world. But 
It does not matter. LeBron James, fucking <laughs> King of Cleveland. Thank God he fucking brought us a championship. It's about goddamn time because I've been waiting too long. My uncle said it would never happen because Cleveland's a bunch of can can be racist at times and name their teams <laughs> bad things. And we believe it in is. <laughs> exactly. And <laughs> exactly. Shout out, shout out, Bomani Jones, one time. Caucasian. Exactly. Uh, only thing left I have to say: peace to my man Harrison Barnes. Uh oh. <laughs> I dedicate this episode to you. Um, <laughs> hopefully, you guys will never win a championship ever again. Damn, it's the real like one. That. I respect it. Hey man, I he wants. It. He wants. He wants another. Another one in the final. Another one. <laughs> all right, I think I think we I can all agree that the Kings are winning the championship next year. And on that note, we are going to sign off. Because he stays. <laughs> Wait, on that note, we are going to sign off. This has been Q Ryan. <laughs> Big Stowe. Links in the description. Leave comments. Subscribe. Do everything that Ryan told you to do. You already know what time it is. Congratulations to the Cleveland Cavaliers. You are world champions. Yes. Congratulations, y'all. It's just been played off the bench. <laughs>